Bob. Hey. Dr. Mike. Hi, Dr. Mike. Hey, Dick. How you doing? Hey, Dick. Hey, nice to meet you, man. Walking into the situation, talking to someone that I don't know about, I'm kind of apprehensive a little bit because they don't know what to like fully expect. So uh, thank you so much for, for joining us. Um, you guys have some things in common, and I think it'd be really helpful, if you don't mind, yeah. uh, sharing just a little bit about your story. Okay. Yeah, and I was infected here in LA, uh, actually Sunset and Highland. It was one night of drug use. It was cocaine at the time. What year was that? And methamphetamine, 1983. And uh, the four of us shared the needles. Shortly after there, started having swollen glands, signs and symptoms. And then the girlfriend at the time said, uh, I think you got that AIDS. And uh, sure enough, within months, uh, I got the diagnosis. And at the time, it was a death sentence. And my odds weren't good. I get goosebumps just saying it, man. And so the, the path that I've walked in these 31 years is most remarkable. And I'm an open book, bro, here to help you to the best of my ability to live full life and not let it keep you down. I was diagnosed three years ago. I was in a long-term relationship. We broke up. And then it's like, I'm looking at it like, this is probably the last relationship I'm going to be in. That means you haven't had sex in, in years. And they haven't had sex in almost three years. So how do you go about like even dating? Like seriously, it's well, like, yeah. hey, would you like to go out for dinner? By the way, I'm positive. Right, right. It's like, right. What the f up the like, serious. Yeah. For me, it's right from the get go. Because that's where educated people on the, the issue are. And if you're adherent to the treatment, it's less than 2% that you would transmit it to somebody. So man, please, please don't let HIV limit how many relationships you have or who you have them with. I can't impress upon it's you. It's not HIV, that it's that the way you're relating to HIV that's holding yeah. you back. Yeah. Just hearing your story and, you know, that it's like, dude, it's not over, it's cool, you know, it's extremely it's encouraging. Uh, Good. I'm